What happens when we die in those cold moments after our last breath and our last heartbeat? The people you're about to meet say they've seen a glimpse of the other side. They're part of the 5% of Americans who claim they've had a near-death experience. 9 in 10's Chloe Keipel met a pair of locals who say those experiences have forever changed their lives. I think I was in a coma for five or six days. At 35, Mary Roebling's organs shut down after a bad reaction to medicine. My last memory in the physical body was driving away with this guy in the car. The next memory was standing in a beautiful, clear place. Suddenly, Mary felt something lifting her up. So my physical body is here, and I'm like sitting up above it i thought oh my gosh that's you know that's me in these moments she says a light filled the room and out of that light came a friend of mine a friend of our families who had died three weeks earlier i said you know jane am i dead now too and she said no you're in the hands of god mary says in that moment she entered heaven it's almost like tinkling of a thousand bells all at the same time She felt an overwhelming sense of pure love when she heard a voice. It was light. It was in a massive, massive energy. And, and it, it was clear. She believes that voice was God. She says they sat together watching a reel of her life. The life review was as if you're looking at old-fashioned film tape. You know how that used to look? Only it was all in shimmery golden white light. When they finished, Mary made a choice. I really wanted to come back as much as I loved it there. I wanted to let people know how much they're loved. I wanted to let people know that they can be that love. Mary decided she wanted to live. She says she returned to her body in the hospital. I've had limited out, uh, uh, experience with the out of life experience, uh, but I've heard others talk about it. Dr. Harold Moores of Reed City had a patient die for minutes and come back with similar stories to tell. He did say that he kind of saw his body from above looking down. He could see people working on him, but he didn't know what was going on. And then he had, um, uh, was with his mother after that. And he only told me the story after he came back several months later. When Mary woke up from her coma and doctors let her go home, she felt a need to find others who know what she's been through. And I began to organize support groups for people having no idea what was going to happen. This experience I didn't really bring out until I got into Mary's group. Mary created the Northern Lights so people like Joanne Angles could share their heavenly experiences. But I never told anybody for years and years and years. I, people say, yeah, look at it, like, we don't want to hear this. This is crazy. This is not real. When two people who've died and come back to talk to each other, it's like we are go to this place. Almost as if, well, did you turn right at the corner? With or without a scientific explanation. So I, I think it's uh, multifactorial. I think it depends on a lot of the neurologic function, what the event was, what caused them to have the uh, near-death experience. Mary and Joanne say they've walked away with a precious gift. I learned that everything counts. I learned that words count. I learned that with the way we speak and the way we think all matter. A gift they want to share with anyone who will listen. We are to love and forgive each other.